not so good at talking as Steve was, so I had to make some notes. So bear with me on this. Steve could talk for hours. Just so not to make it <laughs> but I'd like to tell a story. And let's face it, anybody who knew Steve knew, nobody could tell a story like Steve did. <laughs> but everybody loved him for it. Even if it was one you'd heard before. <laughs> and when he told a story, it, it was an adventure. And the joy was in the telling of the story itself. And then your story became a part of him. And now he's our story. Let me tell you a little bit about my friend. 35 years ago, and, and I had a lot more hair back then, probably as much as Steve. Um, I met a young man out and about on the town. He was quick with a smile and he was ready to bust a move on the dance floor. We <laughs> probably became fast friends, and, and, and at that point, I didn't realize the magic of Steve. I found out he played the piano, he loved jazz and rag, and eventually both Scott Joplin and, and Jelly Roll Morton became household names for me. And while I marveled at that ability and that wonderful gift, because mind you, I can barely play the radio, <laughs> I was just scratching the surface of the man who was inside. A simple, honest virtue was the suit that he put on every day, and he wore it so easily. A kind word, a smile, a handshake, a hug, a compassionate shoulder when anyone was distressed, distressed at all. A man who could always find the good in someone even when they couldn't find it in themselves. Always a kind word, a peacemaker, a bright light on sunny days, and an even brighter light on the days that seemed darkest. Although he really wasn't real fond of actually going out in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> a man with perfectly groomed hair. <laughs> and a story. <laughs> Time passes and days turn into years. Somewhere along the way, our relatives became each other's. My aunts and uncles became his aunts and uncles. And, and friendship grew into family. But it was really more than that. It seemed to me that as I watched him, he had that special ability that made everyone feel like family. He had an incredible memory for the details of everything about people. And he used that gift to make everyone he came in contact feel like they were the most important person. And so he went from day to day, pouring a generous cup of himself to serve up to whomever needed an ear, a shoulder, or a deed. And he still had perfectly groomed hair and another story. <laughs> he loved the people around him, for family and friends, and they were all a medley that he enjoyed as much as his music. Each person a note, each story a melody, and he harmonized them for the benefit of all of us. If you met Steve, you came to know his friends as if they were your own, even if you never actually met them. <laughs> he made them a part of you, because he made everyone a part of himself. He was the most kind, compassionate man I have ever met. A quality that I admire and will probably always reflect upon. We all have our favorite Steve stories. And you're probably thinking of one right now. I'm sure of that. And it would take us all a lifetime just to share them all. Those memories are too big for words, but words too inadequate to describe how much he meant to me and each and every one of us here. We're the candle that Steve lit, each bathing in the warm glow of his character. And we will share his stories. And like Steve, they are now part of us. Like everyone here, I will miss my friend and brother, who seem to be an endless pitcher filled with human compassion, ready to pour glass for everyone.